Hi, this is Eagle and Johnson. I'm creating this little short video just to give you a tour of the S41 online course for fall 2012. Um, our screen is showing the um, initial home page. I'm sure you've listened to my Bokey Welcome already. And just my little Diego uh, educator um, badge. Announcements. The announcements here are just the ones that are already have already been opened. The assignments that have already been opened. Our message center tells you how many messages you have, and also how many unread form posts uh, you have left to read. We have a little brief uh, message from the chat room. Whoever might be there might type something, and you might see it there. Your announcements at this time should look like this. Um, we've already completed all the introductions. Uh, I posted the reading assignments to the um, assignments tab because I had some questions about where were the reading assignments. They're on the module, but um, maybe this way, you know, it's not as confusing. And the only other thing that you should be worried about or working with at this time is the PICO question review and analysis. And um, you should be trying to develop your PICO question following your evidence-based practice tutorial. And you should also be working towards um, developing your own question, finding your four research articles in your um, systematic review. Next is the syllabus. I'm sure you've already read the syllabus, printed it out, and if you have any additional questions, of course, please post those in the form discussion tab under general discussion. Next is messages, which we're not really using this semester because being that we don't meet face-to-face, I would rather all the discussion and questions go into the forum discussion. This course networking tab here is just for a beta, and they the university thought we would try the beta, see if it allowed us to have any additional um, social networking, and um, I'll be able to report back that this particular class did not seem very interested in it. Next, we'll go to the forums tab. On the forums, we have uh, first my uh, Professor Gossie's virtual office, and I'm sure you've seen this, but um, you can call my office number. It'll be forwarded to my cell phone number. Uh, you can also reach me in on course chat when I'm online, like right now, and uh, also through Skype. And if you take your smartphone and you have a, a QR code reader, you can uh, scan this and it'll give you this telephone number and this information right to your smartphone. Our next forum discussion is the, the introductions. And we're all done with the introductions. We had a very, I think, robust um, discussion when we were introducing ourselves. I'm sure you guys all know each other anyway and we see each other on campus, but um, we had a good introduction. Our next forum is the general discussions forum and um, right you click on post a new thread and you call it what you want and post whatever your concern is and everyone can respond um, and when I respond then everyone can see if you had a question everyone can see what was your question and what was the answer and then we that'll cut down on may hopefully cut down on some confusion. Now I had to make some special ones here for like this one, how to navigate this course, since there was confusion. But now I'm making this videotape how to navigate this course. So announcements. Um, this is my first time teaching online online using on course, and on course is off course and doesn't allow us the best functionality. And we have to do the very best that we can with the functionality that we have. I think we are all getting around the learning curve of how to use on course and communicate um, to complete this um, S41 nursing management and leadership online for the first time. I don't mean to guinea pig on you, but um, I'm being guinea pigged on as well because um, 
I had this all set up. I was supposed to put everything on the modules and it was supposed to be well understood. So that's why I'm having to do some of this other stuff like uh, here, asking you to post your, you write your forum response, your forum discussion response, but put them in a Word document in the assignments tab. It's, it's easier for me to grade in the assignments tab. I can grade your forum post from the forum discussion page, but I was having to click back and forth, click back and forth to read and search. Whereas if you just give your full response to the forum in a Word document in the, in the assignments tab, and I've got it all set up like that now, then I'll be able to grade uh, better. And then I can participate in the discussions that are going on. Um, there was a lot of discussion about the evidence-based practice tutorial that's been working for me and my students in this course since 2008. I am not sure what the problems are that you're having that you were not able to see the case study. All my other courses were able to see the case study, and um, but I don't know, so I'm not at your computer, and I don't know. So if we'll continue with the general discussion if you have any uh, additional questions. Just post your topic there. The future of nursing forum discussion is what we're working on. Today is our last day with that. And um, we've done very, had a good discussion about discussing the video and, and the panelists and all that. We've talked about the recommendations for, from the uh, Institute of Medicine, Robert Wood Johnson, how they go about conducting this research and coming to these uh, findings to create this initiative. Robert Wood Johnson, they are definitely for nurses, and they paid for nurses around the country. I think it was 1,600 nurses to participate in um, learning how Houston quality safety education for nurses. And my course, this course I'm teaching to you, is fully based on Institute of Medicine, fully based on Houston, and fully based on evidence-based practice for online teaching and learning. So. So things may look a little bit different, but um, I'm following evidence-based practice from Houston, IOM, and educational um, pedagogy. Uh, shared governance is going to be a topic that you'll um, do a forum discussion on. Here's your assignment, and um, if you read the handouts, uh, Rush Medical Center right over there in Chicago celebrated 25 years in 2008. Uh, this handout is really awesome about how they structured shared governance at their hospital and get all the nurses and everyone to, uh, to participate and how things are done at that hospital so that there are no errors and jo increased job satisfaction, increased retention, um, that kind of thing. So you'll find a lot of good stuff. And then this nursing world, this is the American Nurses Association uh, periodicals. And uh, there are loads of articles on this link here, and the link was working for me, um, where you can find at least two articles to read and summarize uh, those points. And I hope we don't have the redundancy in, this, in the future forums that we had with the Institute of Medicine. That was a little bit more limited because it was only a certain number of recommendations, so that created the redundancy. I will fix that the next time I teach the course online. Uh, the next uh, forum discussion will be on safety, and you'll have three options, I mean three areas to, to address here. Uh, I love Florence Nightingale quotes. I will be building more nurse leaders into the, this online course as I teach it next time, but right now we'll be pretty much heavily on Florence. Uh, one comment that she has made that's well known by her uh, is this one, and it particularly pertains to safety. The very first requirement in a hospital is that it should do the sick no harm. Now, is that not talking about safety? So your assignment for safety is based on your textbook, based on Institute of Medicine, based on Cusin, to discuss the difference between blame culture and culture of safety. And you can compare and contrast blame and culture and culture of safety here should have at least 39 posts and responses from each of you can you don't have to respond to all 39 posts but get some interaction there and then we should also have 39 posts and how do you feel about this now I added this the agency for healthcare research and quality patient safety net uh, because it really goes with this so you might go there and find some stuff as well to talk about to 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 
you know, bolster your comments about safety and blame culture and culture of safety. I just added that this morning. Forgive me. Um, it was, it's going to come up on the module anyway. I believe it's on the module. The next discussion will be group discussions on CNL, which is clinical nurse leader. Um, this is on the module. Uh, no, I don't have the description here. I'll make sure that I put the description here. I think it's here. Oh, I didn't. I'll make sure that I put the description here. I'm going to divide you up into groups. The groups will be uh, 10 groups of at least three or four people to do the group project. Let's see. Let's go back to form. I don't want to run out of time on this, make this too long. And here's your grading rubric. You're doing fine. You're all meeting this expectation. You're posting by the due date. You're, you're fully answering all the questions that are posed. Your, your responses are relevant and they include example. You've been including the examples from assigned sources, 250 words or more and professionally written. And the other one was uh, respect to your peers and respect to me, no bullying, no, you know, no harsh, you know, verbiage to each other. If you have any questions about this course network, you can, um, networking over here, you can, um, ask any questions there or discuss anything related to that in that forum discussion. And the last forum discussion is the national nurse. If you're interested in going with me and some of the students from last semester, uh, I've given you lots of information about this national nurse initiative. We have a surgeon general. There's no nurse at that level. This campaign is about having a nurse at the surgeon general level, public policy related to health, and wellness in this country. The uh, bill is House Resolution 3679. It's called the National Nurse Act of 2011. The National Nurse Campaign is on Facebook. You can click this link. The nurse who began this project, her name is Terry Mills. She is a nurse educator in Washington State. She spoke to my class last semester, let, I'm sorry, last fall via Skype. I have about five or six students from that class who are still interested in this. And if we get an appointment um, to meet with Pete Visglowski, and I'm just saying meet with Pete, give it some hype. Let's meet with Pete. Um, not trying to be disrespectful to him. I'm just giving it some hype. Let's meet with Pete. Pete Visglowski, our representative here, congressman here in Northwest Indiana, his office is right across from Methodist Hospital Northlake. My tape is going to run out. I'm going to um, finish. Uh, that finishes this uh, forums. I'm going to do one more tape. It's going to be short, 15 minutes, just like this one. I'll, the next one will be on assignments, modules, resources. You know about test and surveys. You know about grade book. You know about all of these other things. So I'm going to do one more of these little tapes on forums and assignments, and maybe we don't have to meet on Monday. Don't worry. I'll be there Monday at 3 o'clock in the nursing lab if you still want to meet with me. But hopefully this will uh, clear up, clarify, answer your questions. Thank you.